What's happening, everybody, and welcome back to RGU Union Podcast. I am joined with the three student presidents we have. Kieran Matthews, the Sport and Physical Activity President. Ursula OGG, President for Communication and Democracy. And Emmanuel Akirili, the President for Education and Welfare. Cool. And just before we start, I do want to say that nominations open on the Thursday, the 5th of March until Thursday, the 19th of March. So nominate yourselves to be in one of these people's places next year um, or also be in one of the vice president's roles as well. Yeah. So the first question I will be giving to Ursula, uh, describe your role as a student president. Uh, thank you. Okay, so my role, I'll say it's fun, first of mm. all. <laughs> it's fun, it's daring, but basically my role as student president is to inform students about the union, the activities that the union has to offer, and how students can get involved in different ways. So that's basically the communications bit. Um, for the democratic side, it's how... Ha- um, Making sure that students are well represented, like in an open and transparent manner, you know, in the union. So yeah, and to listen for feedback. So basically, that's my role. Okay, well, sounds pretty fun to me. Um, so <laughs> the same question again to Kieran, and then we'll go to you, Manuel. So Kieran, just take it away. Yeah. So the president of sport and physical activity. I'm basically responsible for all 32 sports clubs that we've got here at RGU. Um, so yeah, it's all fun and games. I basically look after all the presidents of those clubs and make sure that they have enough equipment, they have their transport on time, all their fixtures run smoothly. Um, yeah, so it's yeah, it's a busy role, but it's a fun role. Um, we're obviously I obviously get to uh, run events like Baby Blues or Mini Blues. It was this year, Oktoberfest, as we've all got to try and fundraise as much as we can, as that's how we pay for everything. So yeah. It's definitely got loads of fun elements and loads of serious elements, but yeah, it's, it's a great job. Cool. And Daniel? Uh, being president for education and welfare means I'm responsible for the student representative structure. Um, I look after the class reps, the school officers and the equality champions. Um, what I do basically is support them in their roles and um, set up ways where they can gather feedback amongst the student body. Um, on the welfare side of things, I run different campaigns um, that relate to um, different issues in concern to students. So um, some of these campaigns involve mental health campaign, gender-based violence campaign, sexual health campaign, um, health re- healthy relationships campaign, and, and the likes. So um, very life-changing. Well, <laughs> if you <see. laughs> Awesome. And so the next question I have is... Like which of you, which of the projects that you guys have been working on, and I know you've been working on so many projects since I started my placement here in RG Union. Um, but which of the which of your projects has had the greatest impact on students in like at RGU? I'll go. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we've done a, a full time on initiations campaign. Um, so basically, this was at the start of the year. We did this, and we got all thirty three clubs involved. And they had to share on social media with a photo about why um, they think initiation behaviour is not appropriate. Um, and yeah, so all 33 clubs got involved. We've been used as uh, Scottish Student Sport Best Practice. We've also been nominated uh, into top three for NUS awards. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been great. And I think I think there's a lot lot more to do on it over the next couple of years. But it's a good um, it's been a good base set um, for the next president that comes in after me. Um, and yeah, it's something that is a UK-wide issue. It's not an R- it's not just an RG issue, but we're we're obviously kind of leading the way on it. So it's, it's great for RG that we're doing this. Um, yeah, and then we've also had Women in Sport Weeks, things like that as well. Mental Health Weeks. I think the Women in Sport Week was great for us because we used the the hashtag of She Can She Will, and everyone really got into it, and loads of people sharing it on social media. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's been a, a proud thing for me as well as is, is seeing that kind of develop. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll, I'll take it from from Kieran. Um, we've been I've been on several projects um, since I started um, and ran several campaigns. I'm still running several campaigns um, as it is. 
um, well, some of the projects which have had great impact on students from my perspective, um, for example, was a uh, chat comment change campaign, um, yeah. which I've run with the vice president for education. And what we've done um, is set up uh, drop-in sessions or stalls around campus where we get to speak to mostly um, student reps, school officers, or even just um, the general student body and gather comments and feedback that have an effect on the student learning experience. Um, and this we've used to shape the learning and teaching framework at RGU so far. Um, one other project that I've run um, so far that I'm very, very proud of is the approval of a 24-7 study space. Um, in the past, we RGU as a university didn't have um, um, a study space or, or the library open um, just normal term time. It was just always during assessment times uh, or exams. And myself and the other presidents worked closely with um, the estates department to put together a proposal to the university. And as it stands, we have um, uh, a 24-7, a designated 24-7 sp study space for any student to use, um, any RGU student to use at any time of the year, which is um, a big win. Of, of course, there are several other projects and campaigns around mental health, elimination of violence against women, uh, uh, healthy relationships, equality and diversity, but um, those are the ones I'm most proud of, yeah. yeah. And Ursula? Oh, well, um, so like the presidents have said, we're working on a lot of projects throughout the year, and one of the projects I'm most proud of is the My RGU app. So, obviously, students wanted a timetabling app, but we looked at it to say, oh, what other ways can we um, communicate with students? Can we get engagement? And we felt the app would be a better form of communication in order to reach out to students in different ways, not just their mobile timetabling. And so, yes, we got the My RGU app where students can access so many things just in one app. Um, so, yes, and also some campaigns we've run, not just as, you know, the subs here at RGU, but widely with um, Aberdeen Student Union, University of Aberdeen Student Union and NESCO to lobby for affordable transport here at Aberdeen for students. And so those are one of the things I'm actually really, really proud of because they're actually making a headway and to also improve the student experience here. So yeah. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Sounds like you guys are having a crazy life. Yeah, like we just pretend it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um couple more questions. Uh so in your role as a student president, how have you been supported? So how have you been so if, uh, support, any support, any kind of support from either RGU, the union, staff, students, whoever it is, how have you been supported as a student president? Um, I, w I would say it's been <coughs> immense support, to be honest. Um, majority of the support has come from our ever hardworking, ever reliable staff at the union, to be honest. Um, running a lot of campaigns and a lot of projects all at the same time as as you as it sounds crazy to you it actually is crazy and it's a lot of work um we we can come up with ideas but it's it's one thing to have ideas in your head and it's something else to bring those ideas to life yeah. so um having that support from the members of staff at the union is is massive um i i, I don't think anyone can underestimate that one bit um there there was um, I mean, there's there's been some support around the university, but it obviously cannot be compared in any way to what we get from the staff, mm -hmm. uh, the union. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the sports president works slightly differently. Um, so I'm upstairs <laughs> in my own little office in sport. Um, but I obviously work closely with the union staff as well, and they've been brilliant. Um, and anything that we've needed at sport uh, with the sports clubs, they always help, and they're really supportive with great advice. Um, but for me, I've had brilliant support from the director of sport, Hannah Leslie, and, and other staff as well. Special shout out to Kat Corbett. Um, they're all amazing. Not all the guys in the office, they're, they're always happy to help. So I literally couldn't have asked for any any better support. What I would say is kind of to further what Manuel was saying, um, I've been amazed by the amount of support we get from the university as well. Um, I think we've done really well this year to link up with them. 
and actually work with them, which is the only way to do this. Um, there's no point in fighting against the university. Working partnership. Working partnership, yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's there's literally no point in fighting against them because they're on our side. Um, so yeah, I think we've all kind of found the university quite helpful as well and the resources they've got. But as Emmanuel said, the, the union staff and my staff in sport are, yeah, they've been brilliant. Anything to add to that, Ursula? Yeah, of course. Um, so they have said it all, but I just <laughs> want to also say we get great support as well from our team, from the exec team, you know. It's not easy to work with people, but you you have a team that, you know, we are thinking together, we want to make sure that we do things together, and that's how you win, you know, you win big. You have lots of projects, different mm-hmm. projects, but working with them, getting support from them has really proved to be tremendous. So, yes, I'll say gotten great support from our team yeah um just to add to what Ursula just said um it, it's 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 a massive um this i i don't i not bringing down the teams from the past but um it's been a big big team effort this year mm. um a lot of the stuff that we've been able to achieve so far it's not just been down to um, individuals or just the sub team the vps have been really immense um, there's been a lot of um, good dedication from the members of the team, the vice presidents as well, and that's uh, it's very vital to the success of um, of projects that we've been able to carry out. So, yeah, yeah. kudos to them. <coughs> and I've just got one more question for you guys. I know you're mm. busy, from, I'm, I'm taking time from your busy schedules, but um, what would you say to anyone watching or listening on RG Radio? Um, about running for the elections this year? Go for it, um, <laughs> basically. I, I was in their position this time last year, not sure if I was going to go for it or not. Um, the sport one is definitely up for grabs. I am I am not rerunning. Um, so we are looking for people to take it, obviously looking for people to take every role. Um, but the amount I've learned this year um, has just been huge um, compared to what you maybe have learned maybe going lower down the chain in a graduate job I can now I'll probably still go into a graduate job but I feel like I've learned so much more than what my degree gave me so um, yeah 100% go for it the, the people skills you get as well um, is massive because you're dealing with students every day and students let me tell you you think you're good people but <laughs> you're, you're hard people to work for at times you're, you're lovable but um it can be tough and it's it's been a great experience so yeah 100 percent, go for it if you're on the fence just nominate yourself and you'll soon find out halfway through the campaign if you want it or not so um my advice would be tough <laughs> but no I'm, I'm 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 happy that we obviously would be very happy if we have like enough um, candidates or people interested in the different positions um just to ha- also i like that um you can always be a part of the union in several ways you know um, there's the vp roles there's the student trustee roles you know all of these roles are as important as the next one you know that they all play their parts they all have their roles to play student trustees role is a massive one because you have to be on the board of trustees you make major decisions on what direction of travel that the union goes you know and it's for two years uh, which is really good no it's good 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 um, um, experience for, for an individual you know yeah. to be able to determine what strategy a company or an organization mm-hmm. takes it's big it's big decisions um, so I would just say don't limit yourself uh, don't think you can't do it whatever thing you've got on your mind just go for it you know thank you very much to these wonderful pre- presidents right here Um, Remember, guys, the nomination opens on Thursday, the 5th of March until Thursday, the 19th of March. Nominate yourself to be the next student president or the vice president or a trustee. Um, Like Emmanuel said, you can find more information on www.rgunion.co.uk. Hashtag RGU elections.